Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna watch the first little bit. We'll see where you're at. And then start talking. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, okay. So, first things first. While you're up here, just because you're up here doesn't mean you have to be doing nothing. You have a shield, so like, I see that you're like jumping to see what's going on, but like, you could just stand here with your shield and look, and if they start shooting your shield, get to cover. And this way you can watch what's going on, and like, you can't do anything about the Widow headshot onto your Widow, but you might have been able to pack your monkey and help him a bit. Like, yeah, right now we're waiting, we're waiting, but we might as well be looking. Your Widow dies. Oh, I guess your monkey got hooked in. Yeah, there was nothing you could do for him. Uh, so I take it back there. I still think in a vacuum you should be, like, actually properly looking, because, like I said, you got your shield and you're right by cover. Uh, but the next mistake is, so your Widow's dead, unlucky, but what are you doing up here? You are here to protect your backline, yeah? Well, one got headshot, fuck all you can do about that, and the other is leaving. And you just completely lose track of your Ana and you leave, uh, stay here. You you are here to protect her. You're her bodyguard. You gotta know where she is. You can't be more than a bash away. Go break 10 out of 10. Can you tag me on Discord when you get to it? Yeah, for sure. And then, like, the Doom comes in and you bash over the side rather than, like, Backing up. Here, let's, let me watch that from the perspective one more time. Who's it got? Yeah. I don't think you meant to go over the edge, but also you didn't need to bash in. All you had to do was whip shot the Doom off the high ground. That's literally all you have to do. Uh, that wasn't the plan. Your whip shot is like some of the best anti dive in the game. Whenever you see any dive hero, so like. What do they got? The Doom Fist? I guess just the Doom Fist now. So you, you're saving your whip shot for the Doom. When you see him slamming in, you hit the whip shot and you fuck up his slam. His whole dive is gone. He uses his uppercut to get up onto a high ground where your Ana is, or should be. Um, you whip shot him down and now he just wasted that cooldown and he got nothing for it. You, you don't have to kill the Doom. And you only need to stun the Doom if he is already on top of your Ana or you. But see, you got too split from her, he dove, you didn't have time to whip shot him away, you didn't even really have time to pack her before she was gone. Okay, and we bash in. Our Genji's there, but this is like really scary. You don't want to be here. Again, you might have tried to go for the whip shot there. Okay, good. We bash away and hog with his hook. Otherwise, you could have died there very easily. And now we're coming back to where we should be. Okay. Let's watch this monkey again. Just out of curiosity. You might have been able to get a pack in on him from up here. Anyone dives up here, you whip shot him away. If they don't dive up here, your Widow is free, your Ana is free. And if they do dive up here, they're dealing with a Zarya and a Brig. So, like, it's just so strong. Your Widow gets to just hit shots all day. Your Ana gets, is just free to heal the tanks. Provided, you know, they have LOS on each other. But... 
because you're kind of like getting confused in the back here and don't really seem to know where you want to be. You're just sort of running around the map and you're not really getting anything done. Okay. I want to see this again and see if you could have packed your Ana during this. So, like, when you have only a single dive hero and you have Zarya bubble and the Zarya is saving it for the Ana then you can be split like this. And you can just throw a pack, and then this gives you, like, and, like, hit the whip shot, and then on is good, because you'll get your Inspire from here, etc. So this could be, like, a really good spot. If you, you're you not worried about Ana dying to the Doomfist because he's the only dive hero. This Ana hits the sleeps, like I said, Zari hits the bubble, the Doomfist just isn't super great, so, like, the pack is enough to keep her alive through his dive, whatever, uh, then sure. But none of that is the case. Well, I guess Zarya does just bubble the Ana here, but, like, this is where you need to be, is playing here, where you can pack everyone, and then once the dive is over, you could walk up to here to try to land another whip shot and get everyone in your Inspire, yeah? But your first priority is not your Inspire. Your Inspire is 15 a second. It is goddamn nothing. It's poop. This is your first priority. Protecting her from that Doomfist. Okay. We go for the whip shot. But nice pack. Nice bubble. Okay. Yeah, you, you lost track of her. All you had to do was look at her and pack her. And she probably lives that old. Unlucky. My ultimate is ready. Rendezvous at my position. Good whip shots. We got rally coming up. More bet this not. My ultimate is almost dead. And now we're wandering around low ground. Lost and confused. Your Ana's only alive because she hit the sleep on the mercy. Uh, you could also have bashed across the high ground. I see you're going for the hog, but like... But you're on a dive. And like, basically no one in your team except your Widow got your rally armor. Stop a living, but again we back in. Probably could have shielded that. Okay. Should Brick try to stand wherever they think Doom will try to dive? Um. Yes, or any dive, uh, and not necessarily stand where the dive is coming so much as stand where you can fuck it up. So like. Depending on maps, where everyone is going, where you think they're coming from, you might not have to say, stand on top of your Ana here, if you could be up here and whip shot the dive away as they come through main, or whatever. You know, you don't necessarily have to be on top of her, but you have to be somewhere where you can deny the dive. And if you don't know where the dive is coming from, then yeah, you gotta be where it's going. But trying to catch it out early, all you're looking to do is deny. You gotta deny that dive. Once you deny the dive, then you get to go forward a bit, at least until you think you're gonna dive again. Ready for more. She has really good whip shot aim. Yeah, it's pretty solid. No one can hide from my sight. Yeah. You are so tunneled on getting your Inspire going, and it's just not worth 
Inspire is nice. It soaks up some chip, it changes a couple of breakpoints, and it, like, helps you build Rally faster. And that's kind of it. Great's real power is in her packs, and in her ability to shut down dives. And that's all you gotta be doing. You going forward is... Or you going forward too early, I should say, is low-key throwing some of these fights. Because you're just not where you need to be to help the people you need to help, and then they're dying. Fifteen a second. I noticed when I was playing with Ana Duo from that Nubani game you reviewed, I build Rally every one and a half fights because I said such high Inspire proc percentage. Yeah. If you never die and you land the whip shots, your Inspire is through the roof. Um, but I've won Brig Zen games playing Brig with 15% Inspire up and like zero deaths. You, you just, it's just not that important. It's nice. It's good. You should get it when you can. And in the mid fight, it can be pretty strong. But especially early on, it just does not matter. Score. What does proc mean? I know what it means, sort of, but what is proc? Um, switching sides. Shit, I forget what it's short for, but it means to like trigger. Initiating to get it started, to get it going. Okay. I, I just gotta put this another way. Everyone talks about how Lucio's passive healing is absolute shit, right? It's absolutely pathetic. You don't want your Lucio passively healing, you'll all die. You want him speeding, yeah? Brig Inspire is less healing than Lucio's passive. She does 15 a second. He does, like, 21. One. Or 18 for himself. Like... Get the Let's get to work. Proctology. Programmed random occurrence. Somehow I don't think so. Okay, that was way too many packs on your monkey. Uh, the only time you ever want a triple pack is... A, if you're about to rally and hard W, so, you know, you don't want to be looking around for people who need packs. If you have, say, for example, a Genji with Blade that's about to go deep, you can triple pack him so he has six seconds of healing while he's in. Uh, that can be really nice. But it, it doesn't speed up how fast they, they get healed. It just adds time onto the heal. So you give them three packs, they get heals over six seconds. You have eyes on the monkey. Why not wait two seconds, then give him the next? Wait two seconds, give him the next. If he even needs them. But, like, you got a bap that might heal him up. Or, even worse, he might die, and then you just lose those packs. Uh, there's no reason to stack him like that in this situation. If you're about to die, you can triple... Yeah, if you're about to die, or, like... Like I said, uh, somebody's going in deep with an ultimate, or you're just, like, about to hard W with a rally. Those are about the only times. <laughs> you didn't need to bash off the cart yet. You can just be using it as cover. You should be pushing this. Okay, it is 5v6, your crew's coming back, right? But if you're on the cart, you have cover. No one is going to shoot you, so the cart's moving. Which, if they come to stop the cart, it's pulling people away from your hog, it's pulling people away from the respawns that are coming, it's getting them looking this way while you have folks pushing up that way, yeah? You can always... 
bash off back to here as it's come around if you want. But Brig on cart is really strong because you can use it for cover, because you can swing into anyone that comes to stop it. Uh, and like the risks there really are this guy who's way in the back and this guy who you just forced out and who's fighting a hog. Like, I would come here, bash out if he got it, but like, for now, you can be forcing this point. Instead, uh, like, and the way you back out, you back out into open space. Like, there is absolutely zero cover here. So it's not like this is any safer than right here right now. It is way not. If you're concerned about your safety, you should be, like, hugging these things. Ah, there we go. My Yeah, and this bash just took you out of the fight. You were never going to close the distance. And, like, look how little you can do here. You either need to be on the high ground with your free, or you need to be forcing the cart so the Kree can be getting free shots from up there. Now it's too late. Now there's too many dead for sure. And your monkey jumps in. Unlucky. Good, good, good. You peeked a little too far, but luckily the Widow didn't take your head off. You should have come around that corner with your shield up because that Widow just shot you there. Just shot you there and you reached the same angle without your shield up. Aw, oh, you missed the stun, but at least he didn't get you caught in that room. Good. That was actually fine. Again, single pack him. He's about to die there. So, like, you don't want to lose your packs to nothing. Give him a pack, and two seconds later, give him another if he's still alive. Nice. Has reached the check. Third coffee. That bash forward is fine because you guys are just chasing this rhyme, but you didn't actually close the distance, you backed up again. And then you're like weirdly shield dancing when. Why were you shield dead? The Rhine is just holding a shield here? What exactly are you dodging? I mean, I guess there's the Kree up there, but like. Yeah, if you're committing on that, just commit on it. Like, make sure he dies. Otherwise, you just end up exactly what happened. You end up overextended as the respawns come in. You could have given him another pack. So he's whole hogged? Pack him. Now. And then you would have had another pack to give him right there. Like, you just let your monkey die. He probably gets out of that. Now forcing card is scary because now there's like no one here to back you up. Aw, oh, dang. Just back out, just back out. You're down two, don't you dare rally. Everyone just leave. Let them die if they keep pushing in. This pack is fine because he's not like hard hinting, he's just poking for his ultimate, which he's getting kind of close to. So yeah, Dang. pocket him, let him do that. Otherwise, there's no reason for you to peek because you already have your ult. Walk with your shield, walk with your shield. Keep it coming. Stay up today. This is not your 
back to Swap Mercy. Nice. Up a little bit. Let me patch that up. Ah. Usually you push in the cart, not your tracer. Good pack. You and your hog collectively just save your tree there. You're frontlining. Your inspire just doesn't matter. You push the cart until like the enemy starts contesting the cart, and then you need to be gone already. You need to be back with the people that you're protecting, which now is your tree, while saving packs for your tracer. But mostly you're probably hanging out with your tree, and the two of you are shutting down the steam fist and the hog. <laughs> So, holding this high ground right here is really nice, and when you get Inspire off this hog here, like, your team's actually getting it, so like, it's not like you're chasing somebody around the back. You should just stay here. This drop was bad. There's no reason for you to leave yet. You force the hog out. From here, you can like, you know, land whip shots, you can still throw out packs, and mostly what you're doing is you're denying this incredibly strong off angle from the enemy team. Yeah? And then once you get your rally and you hit rally, like, your team's in your rally from up here even. And you could choose to drop to cart then, but like, I mean, I guess you basically have rally, it's just, it's kind of early and you drop way back here, rather than if you're going to like go into them with rally, go into them with rally and just kill this Kree immediately, yeah? <laughs> hey, Senda. When you bring an egg whisker to a gunfight, That's said, way to rock him. See how lost and confused you are? You're just spinning around in circles trying to figure out where everyone is and what the fuck is going on. Stop it. Back up to a corner. Play cover and corners. Yeah? Get to here and see what's going on so you can make choices. Whichever cover or corner you choose to take. Like, get to some piece of safety somewhere and look around. This is scary. This is like you getting randomly one-tapped by a Doomfist or, like, popped up into the air by this ball and one-clipped by a Tracer or something. Like, you're so... Ah. It's so hard to track everything going on when you have to spin around like that. <laughs> Lost almost 300 SR this weekend. Let's go. Oh, no. Yeah, weekend games are kind of rough. IMO. Cool. You guys finished with time though. Good job. Your pack does 110 healing over 2 seconds, 
Inspire does 90 healing over 6 seconds, for a grand total of 200. So, one pack plus Inspire heals the squishy completely. My barrier can take much more! Yes, I have no Right here. You hit that whip shot right in front of him. He's only missing three bars. There's absolutely zero reason to give him a pack right now. He's fine. He will be healed up to full in a few seconds. And like there's no one actively shooting him. He's good. You did not need to use his pack. And now you're out of packs. Versus having one left. Your monkey heart feeds. Um, you're playing with the Mercy, and if you see the Mercy is hanging back and not going in with your monkey, you need to position so you can pack him. It's the only healing this poor guy's gonna get now. Yeah? My barrier Like, yes, normally you want to be packing DPS and your other support, but you can pack your tanks, and he needs it. Oh, thanks so much for the follow, Merman. Welcome, welcome. There is no reason for you to hint there. Fuck the turret. Right here, the turret can't do shit. You're killing cart. You can land whip shots on whoever to knock them back and force them off of the cart. Look at this. Let's just zoom out. Your team. All over here. You. Basically surrounded. You are so fucked. This is so scary. Just hang out here. Or here. Cool. Take your team clutches it out. Let's get you back in the fight. You were looking for a pack there. Behind you. Yeah. You're giving out your packs a little bit too freely. It's not like your pack management isn't like super bad or anything. Usually, like, you're usually fine, but, uh, it is one of those things that you really want to concentrate on min-maxing, uh, because it's the best healing you have. It's so much better than your Inspire, and if you always have a clutch pack available, that's just, like, you can really carry games that way. Aww. While he has his armor going after him is hard. Let me just see. You guys are even. And I would argue kind of up. Oh, wait, yeah, no, you got your... Oh, no, your tracer's dead again. So you have no DPS, but they have no tanks. Which means you guys probably win this, actually. Uh, if you don't trade, if you don't feed and die. So, you don't need to go after this Torb right now. You need to live. You just need to back up and play somewhere where you can touch the card if you need to. But mostly is going to be doing that. You got your monkey over here doing his thing. All you got to do right now is live and support your team. And you get rolled instead. And then it all goes to shit. I'm not saying it goes a different way if you live, but probably, honestly, two tanks plus two DPS fighting, or two supports plus two DPS fighting on a cart with two tanks and a Mercy and a Brig keeping those tanks alive, like pocketing them? Nah, I think you guys win that. Oh. Okay, we're up here again. Uh, who are you protecting? Probably the junk rat, really. 
soldier's got his mercy pocket. You gotta save packs for uh, your tanks when that shit happens. You gotta be ready for it. But otherwise, like, where's your drunk rat? Like, literally, where is he? I haven't seen you look at him. There he is. Unlucky. Save your bash for when he heals when he vapes and cancel his vape. You you keep bashing people just for the hell of it. Your your bash does like basically no damage, and it's your only mobility, your only escape. So like, unless that stun is canceling something, literally, what is the point? Yeah. Uh, but you can cancel his vape and just leave him absolutely boned because hogs, especially in this elo, don't expect that. Their whole plan involves them getting out alive with their vape. And if the vape gets canceled, they don't get out alive. So, like, look for that. Hogs in your face like that, all you gotta do is pressure him and shield dance. Unlucky. The payload has reached 30 seconds remaining. Yeah, there you just whip shot him away and then you you whip shot him away, you try to block the hook, and then you bash away to create even more distance. Oh, I was going a little shot. Unlucky. And now you're frontlining. You just don't need to be here ever. This is not where you want to be. Brig is fragile. She's a support. The, the days of tanky frontlining Brig are long over. She has been nerfed into the ground. And she is still OP. She is still broken. But she is fragile. She is not a frontline support now. And what makes her broken is her ability to just hang out in the back and shut down dives and throw out packs. She's a bodyguard. Backline bodyguard. This whole time you're in it, you could have just been playing these stairs here. Because then you got cover. And you're still landing the whip shots, you're still swinging into these people. And from here, also, unlike here where you're spinning around, you can see your entire team and go, oh shit, I should pack my tracer because she's fighting somebody in that little room. You know, etc. Life simplifies. Playing around cover just a little bit back here. Right. Two more tank losses this morning. Oh no! Yep. Cool. Victory. Yeah. Honestly, your brig isn't that bad. It's just you keep getting sucked in, and I think it's because you're tunneling on your Inspire. And, like, it just doesn't matter. Like, it's a nice to have. It is not... Said, brig zen. Zen heals. And I have won a game with 15% Inspire up and zero deaths. Like... Just protecting my Zen, letting them farm damage from the back, throwing out the occasional pack. Inspire is meaningless. Almost. Almost. Uh, yeah, it, it's at least it's not worth tunneling on and getting yourself in a bad position, getting yourself killed, or getting the people you're supposed to protect killed because you left them to go try to get your Inspire going.
push forward after you've shut down the dive, after you've protected people from who you need to protect. And even then, you're only pushing so forward. You keep ending up in front of your team, and you just don't want to be there. It makes everything harder. Not just that you'll get killed, but it makes it harder to track what's going on, know who you need to pack. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. If you ever want to drop another VOD, please feel free.